G'day everyone, and welcome to Lubrication Explained. Today we're going to be talking about drum storage and handling. Seems like a very simple topic, but there are some really common mistakes that I see at sites all around the place. Um, really common pitfalls, and it can actually have, actually have a substantial effect on the operation of your equipment. So let's dive in. Drums seem like they're relatively simple, right? Um, but the thing is, something that not everyone knows is that drums actually breathe when they're outside. So what do I mean by that? Well, I think it's fairly obvious that if you were to keep drums outside, which we don't recommend, um, rain, the elements, uh, it's exposed to everything. And we're particularly concerned with moisture. So if water ends up on the lid, that in itself is not necessarily a problem. Most drums are well sealed and are going to keep the moisture outside. However, drums that are outside and exposed to ambient temperatures go through a heating and cooling cycle. So the sun comes out, it heats up the drum, and of course we know that with heat, we get expansion of liquid inside. So the lubricant actually expands inside. The drum itself doesn't expand at the same rate, and so the air has to be forced out. Uh, the bungs are not fully airtight, right? Otherwise, the, the drum would explode. Uh, so a certain amount of air comes out of the drum. Now, that in itself is not a problem. However, at night, all of that liquid that's in the drum is then going to cool down, and the process reverses. What happens in this instance is that we get a vacuum. And that vacuum is going to want to pull water down from the lid and into the lubricant. Now this cycle can repeat over and over again, and what we end up with is a substantial amount of water uh, potentially in the drum. So not really good news. We know that uh, water can cause all kinds of problems, whether it's forming emulsions, simply reducing the viscosity of the lubricant, um, and so we want to avoid water ingress where at all possible. Okay, so how can we uh, put in some really simple measures to avoid this? Well, first off, and the most obvious one is we put them indoors. Um, drum storage indoors is regularly done at sites all across the world, um, but we do recognize that there are some circumstances in which uh, we just are unable to do so. So one example could be um, we're taking the drum out uh, to fill an application um, and we just get stuck outside for some reason. So in that instance, what we can use is a drum hat these are freely available, talk to your oil supplier, they'll probably have them on hand. And the advantage of doing that is that water just rolls off the top and ends up on the ground. So that's, that's perfect, but it's really only a temporary solution. And the reason for that is that if we were to look underside the hat, uh, there is potentially going to be a bit of moisture buildup. So in particular, uh, in the middle of summer, or if we're in very humid environments, so anywhere near the tropics, the simply the, the heating up and the cooling down of the air is going to cause condensation under the hat. And we end up with the same problem as before. So it's really only a temporary solution. But it still works for a couple of days. The other thing that we can do is consider what would happen if I'm outside uh, and all of a sudden it starts raining and I have to leave the drum outside. What's a really temporary solution there? Well, the easiest way to do it is rotate the barrel so that the bungs are perpendicular throw a wooden block underneath uh, underneath the drum. And this way, if water does fall on the lid, it'll just build up on the low side. So when it's going through that heating and cooling cycle, and then when there's a vacuum on the drum, it's only gonna pull air into the drum rather than water. So really something really simple, but effective. The other problem that we often have is the problem of storing outside on the ground. So obviously as rain falls, we get a buildup of moisture on the floor. Well, as that water recedes, generally what it's going to do is expose kind of rust on the bottom of the barrel. Um, if that problem gets severe enough, it can obviously lead to leaks, and that's, that's terrible news because no one wants oil on the ground. Easiest way to avoid that is just to stick the drum on a pallet. If we can raise drums off the ground and ensure that there isn't water building up around the bottom, that's going to go a long way to preserving the integrity of the drum. All right, so hopefully there's some really simple tips that you guys can take away um, to help with drum storage. Uh, it's really effective, very simple. Thanks for listening. 
this has been lubrication explained